In this video, we're going to be looking at the brand new St. James 606 guitar amp sim from Blackstar. So the St. James 606 plugin is a more streamlined version of the larger St. James plugin. So the larger St. James plugin from Blackstar had two amps. One was modeled off the EL36 version of the St. James guitar amp, and then the 606 version. The 606 is the heavier side of that plugin. And by separating these amps out into their own plugins, they've made it easier to get the tones you're looking for, and they've made it more affordable. By the way, if you're interested in the St. James 606 or any of the other Blackstar plugins, they have a huge Black Friday sale going on right now. And I have an affiliate link for you in the description. But before we talk about the features of this plugin, I really want to show you what it sounds like just by pulling it up. I'm using my Lion by Washburn LR6, tuned in the drop D. This is the default preset. This is what it sounds like straight out of the box. This amp sim isn't a capture of anything. It was modeled from the ground up, just like they did the real St. James amps. They modeled those from the ground up. They actually modeled those in this amp sim. So it's not like a high quality capture of the amps or anything. They actually modeled everything inside the plugin based on the inside of the amp as well. And I don't know if this translates through the recording or anything like that, but they were really able to capture, in my opinion, they were able to capture like the feel of an amp in the room. Obviously, I'm on headphones right now, so I'm, I don't have any air moving from cabinets behind me, but the responses I get from this plugin and just the tones in general really have that like authentic feel that I don't really find in any other amp sim right now. I really think they have the best like amp in a room vibe from a plugin right now. <laughs> So looking at the plugin now, we have an input knob and a noise gate and then a mono stereo switch. I'm just going to keep it on mono. We have these two views. We have the amp view and then the cab rig view. One cool thing I really like about the St. James plugin is that even on the cab view, you still have all your amp controls that you have on the amp view. So you don't even need to look at the amp view unless you want to. It looks a lot cooler in my opinion but you can still access all the controls. They're just above the cabs. So you're not having to go back and forth. It's really cool. Volume one, volume two, you do have clean tones. Let me switch to a clean tone right now. So the clean tones are nice and pristine and totally usable, but that's not where this amp excels. It really is meant for those dirty tones. So let's go ahead and get that channel one dirty tone up. Let's turn the gain up all the way. So we have plenty of chug. Those big chords like this one. Still are really clear. I love it. So this is voice one. Let's go over to voice two now. So it's just a different flavor of gain. There's plenty there. Let's go all the way up. So you will have no shortage of gain here. So looking at the knob, you have volume gain, volume two, bass, middle, treble, and then reverb. Let's check out some of the reverb. All the way up reverb. Let's turn it down a little bit. Let's go half. It's a very tasteful reverb. You're not gonna get any like big ambient effects out of there, but it's totally useful. So you have two power amp options here. You got the 50 watt or the SAG option. Here's what SAG sounds like. And then there's the 50 watt. Both sound good, pick your preference. Let's head to the cab rig view. So in an effort to be more efficient and spend less time chasing tone, they've pre-selected two of the cabs for this plugin. So on the left, we have the St. James 2x12, and then on the right, we have the S1 Pro 412. So the 2x12 is mic'd with a 121, and the 4x12 is mic'd with a 414. So you can adjust the volume and the panning of each of these cabs, and then you can even put these mics on access if you want. You have a room knob, so you can increase the room noise. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mute the 4x12. This is what the 2x12 sounds like on its own. Let's 
switch. Let's listen to the 4x12 on its own. And it comes default with both the cabs selected, and I think that sounds best, to be honest. All right, let's go back to voice one for the rest of this. Let's check out this room knob. Let's turn the room up to 50%. of options there and again you can put these off access if you want here's both off access let's leave one on access one off access so yeah that's the st james 6l6 plugin by blackstar it sounds awesome I'm gonna show you a full mix now. This has the St. James all over it. I think there's five or six layers of guitar, both just different variations of the St. James plugin layered up together to make a massive sound. I think it sounds awesome. I'm using this guitar in the mix with the bridge pickup on every track. So it shows you how you can make like diverse guitar tones and blend them together with just this one plugin. That's all I got for you in this video. The St. James 6L6 plugin sounds awesome. I hope you check it out. If you're interested, there's an affiliate link in the description. And remember, there is a huge Black Friday sale going on for all the Blackstar plugins right now. So make sure you go check that out. If you have any questions or feedback, let me know in the comments. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.